Hey guys, another Steven Universe recap video vlog. So let's talk about keeping it together. In the episode, Steven and the gang are folding laundry. Then they decide, wait, Peridot might be in the kindergarten. Let's go check this out. So then the gang goes to the kindergarten and it turns out Peridot is there. Good thinking, Garnet. So Amethyst and Pearl chase the... <laughs> Peridot has some really funny facial expressions in this, um, but Amethyst and Pearl basically chase off Peridot, and then Steven and Garnet go into the kindergarten to figure out what exactly Peridot is doing. What we see is she's been fusing gem shards together into these Frankenstein beasts, and Garnet is so off-putted by this that she almost unfuses into Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, she's able to keep it together, referencing that title there, and they poof some of them and bubble them, and they kind of collect them all. Garnet is just really off-putted by the fact that these gem shards, these dead gems, are being forced to fuse together, and she thinks that's very wrong, considering that Garnet herself is a representation of Ruby and Sapphire's love. And so this is a really Garnet-focused episode, mostly character development there. And what's really good about this is it's not super eerie. The monsters they have aren't really that, like, creepy in design. It's the implications they have that really make it chilling. And the fact that Garnet is so off-putted by this that she freezes, it's what makes it so high-stake. Because otherwise, they're kind of goofy if you look at them from just a visual standpoint. But just having such a strong character kind of lose it. Whenever Garnet loses it, you know there's something big happening. And it's really great to finally see Peridot again. She has some new abilities, like climbing on walls, and apparently she can fly. She's very mechanical, and that's really interesting, because she's the only gym so far that has been so mechanical. I know a lot of people kind of compare her and Pearl together. They both flew the ship, and they all seem, they both have kind of this, like, they can project things. Uh, so it's some people like to think that Peridot might be like a future version of Pearl. Uh, not like as in like future in timeline, but like as a more futuristic style. But yeah, like this episode's really made by the fact that Garnet is so freaked out. That's what makes it so chilling. Uh, but otherwise, like the designs themselves really aren't that scary. And um, it's just kind of interesting, right? Besides that, uh, the episode reminded me a little bit of Legend of Zelda with the with the hands just kind of be merging and peering from the ground and such. It reminded me a lot of like the undeads, and that's always kind of creepy. And there's a one little part I do want to mention here. There's a nice little snippet where they're talking about how the kindergarten works in the sense that they have incubators, which um, plant gems, which absorbs the Earth's energy, basically fundamentally the gems are killing the planet they're growing in. And um, there's this little moment where they're talking about this, and it just cuts to Amethyst looking really uncomfortable. And it's just a really good note that she is part of this. She she grew from this planet. And, the, you know, obviously the kindergarten is a bad thing, and that's her origins. And we have had, we've had episodes touch upon that, but it's nice that they still show how uncomfortable she is when they bring up her past, and that she's not quite over it. Overall, this episode was fantastic, especially in comparison to the previous Stephen Baum dud that was the pre um, the Ronaldo episode. Um, this was plot focused. There's clearly something setting up, and overall, I just it's a great episode. A little chilling, but overall, the art direction on this one's really great. There's some great squash and stretch with Stephen, and um, if you haven't seen it, watch it now. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Stephen recap video vlog.